Ah, hello, I am Amber J. Lawson, and these are the five things you need to know about this full moon lunar eclipse happening in Taurus today, as we're recording this, it's happening today. So in full moon energy, it happens three days before the day of and three days after. So you got three more days of this. Uh, you have not missed it. It is percolating. It is potent. It is powerful. You are in the portal. I use more P words right here, right now. So grab your journal, write down the things that resonate with you, that hit you, um, anything that you, downloads you get. And by downloads, I mean, some. if a visual pops in your head or, oh, I should call fill in the blank. Or I should, or the color blue keeps like kind of coming at me. Write it down. You don't need to know what it means. We are just gathering the information. So we don't have to get anywhere. We don't have to solve the, the thing. But if you get an inkling, write it down. And uh, today we're in tribe, so we'll be dissecting that taking it uh, a cut deeper and getting, as we do in Tribe, the three Cs, clarity, clearing, and committed action. So clarity on the chapter I'm closing, clearing out any guilt, debris, sadness. Uh, when we leave a chapter in our society, we tend to just motor on. We tend to move quickly into it. We don't want to feel all the feelings. But the fact of the matter is, is there is also uh, sadness in closing a chapter. You may have asked for a relationship and you're stepping into a relationship. You get to mourn and grieve your singlehood. Like that was a chapter. Uh, a chapter of a job or a belief system or um, behaviors. So uh, so just the invitation is take everything that comes through as information and write it down, write it down, write it down. Awesome. All right, here we go. Burr, 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 burr. Welcome to the new studio. Be cute. Let's see how it works. We got a new... Uh, computer. We got a new setup. We are like in it. We are in it to win it. Uh, all right. So here are the five things you need to know about this full moon lunar eclipse happening in Taurus today. Uh, number one, we are closing a major life chapter from the past two years. We are closing a major life chapter from the past two years, moving out of the shadow period. We will have more energy moving forward. Who can relate? Yes, Leo. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, this full moon, so full moons tend to be, on, on the whole, full moons illuminate what's working and what's not working. It is our opportunity to celebrate what is working and to clear what's not working, to release and let go. So I like to do a lot of releasing ceremonies. And in fact, today we'll do some releasing in tribe. Uh, and this particular uh, full moon happening in Taurus is rooted, earthy, and nourishing. When we speak of fall... Hey, I need you to chill out, man. When we speak of fall, we we notice the trees, the trees, the trees, yes, the trees and the leaves falling to the ground, creating space for what is next. Again, a grieving period, this time where all this foliage, all this growth, all this expansion, and the leaves fall to give us space. And if a tree holds on to a leaf, the leaf could kill the tree. So it is natural to let it go. This is a natural process and it is being highlighted by this full moon. The leaves fall to the ground and create nourishment for the roots. In fact, so Jesse May, or, or I, I heard this just yesterday, uh, that in the fall, that 
that is actually the strongest period of the tree because it's not pumping out the 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 leaves it is absorbing the nutrients it is deepening in fall so this is an opportunity to deepen fall deepening we are in it now use it where do i get to deepen my practice my beliefs where do i get to go to the gymnasium of my business this next chapter maybe it's relationships deepening what is between me and what i am calling in in this new chapter it is a turning of the page right here right now leo is like singing along with me i think he's like proselytizing and i appreciate you young man um this full moon is releasing anything that is not stable in my life so just notice what is not stable are there's relationships that keep you on edge it might be time to either a address them or b release them um it's also a time to to notice where i'm giving from a not full cup oh we talk about self-care and and we roll our eyes like Amber J, and I don't need another bath. I don't need another shower, another massage. I mean, I could use a massage, but um, the idea of where is my cup not full? Where am I giving and giving? And it's not from the overflow. Like we are meant to fill our cup first, especially as the divine feminine. We go first. We get to, and we haven't very flip-flopped in our society in this time and culture, like go, power through, push, give it your all, uh, power, boss woman, all the things. And it's and like great to be boss babe and all those things. And actually we move further faster when we rest and when we give from a full cup. What does a full cup look like for you? What does a full cup look like for you? Um, this is all number one. Number one of the five things you need to know about this Taurus full moon lunar eclipse happening today. Burr, burr, burr. New understanding of safety. When I am rooted in my knowing, in my internal and eternal knowing, I have a new essence and uh rooting of safety when i am rooted i feel safe when i feel safe my expression my next chapter i step fully in i don't have to be or do anything to fulfill anyone else's outside of myself it is me and i get to create my world Taurus loves to be taken care of and nice things. You get to have nice things. There is like there in the spiritual world, sometimes this comes up is that uh, if you're a spiritual being, you can't have nice things. You must recuse all the things. That's not what this Taurus full moon is enjoy the nice things you get to have all the things you desire around you remove that you deserve it you deserve it all right number two number two are you writing this down what changes have you been battling this month where are you resisting change and this is important for those of us who are in tribe today where do you get to change? Where have you been resisting change? Job, relationship, hard conversations, your body, your behavior. What would a healthy person do? Would a, a healthy person have a drink of alcohol right now or the third drink of alcohol right now? Would a healthy person eat that processed food? 
So coming from that, I say I want X and I'm resisting it. What is in between that? In this, we become more comfortable with our voice, speaking our truth, standing up for what we believe we need, want, and desire because we're taking the time to fill our cup. Back to number one. Ping, 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 ping. Uh, inner peace and knowing. I'm done fighting. I'm ready for peace. What's happening in the I is happening in the we is happening in the all. The earth is asking for us right here, right now to, when I am peaceful, I create peace on the earth. The earth is crying for us to stand in our peace. Peace for others on the planet. It is the hurt that creates war, that creates divisiveness, a lack, a vengeance. And it is the Dalai Lama that said, it is the Western woman that will save the world. So it is upon you hearing this right here, right now to choose peace in yourself. However you get there, this is creating the ripple effect on the planet. So where do you get to choose peace in your life? Where do you get to practice peace? What would be a new practice to get to peace? Quieting that voice in your head, quieting the belief that it is outside of myself. We are all connected. We are all one. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. You are ready to receive the light, the sun. How can I choose to shine in my life? Write that down, write that down, write that down. How can I choose to shine in my life? Mm -mm -mm. Where have I been? Oof. Dimming my light. Playing small. In fact, in Women on Fire this week, uh, one of the exercises I put on, I, I invited the women who are in the mastermind into is to put on one of those puffer coats or something that takes space. I have this big like pink faux fur thing and it's just huge and you can't help but take up space. How many of us notice I do this on the plane? Like I scoochie by, I make myself smaller even when I'm walking on the boardwalk out here, I make myself smaller. I don't take up space. This is an opportunity and an exercise for us to take up space. Notice where I am not taking up space. Notice where I am being small, not using my voice, not showing up fully and shining. This is the invitation to choose to shine in areas of your life. Choose to shine in areas of your life. And not follow, not following the invisible rules. That's a whole, a whole section we do in Women on Fire. What are the invisible rules you're following? Nice girl, complacency, overachiever. Change, more love and self-care. If we're going through change in our life, choose more self-care, more love, more self-love, inner peace. What is that practice you can take on at this time? Put it in the chat. Let me know. Number three, number three, it's okay to be conscious and like nice things. I hit upon this earlier, opening up to receive those who've been around me long enough. No, I always say, I receive, I receive. How many times do you get a compliment and go like, oh, this old thing, I got it at Marshall's for five bucks. Oh, uh, this was last season. Oh, I can't believe I can fit in it. Fill in the blank, right? This is a reminder that you are the radiant being. You are the divine light. 
Yes, we see you flirting with life, turning your light on. And I receive, I receive the abundance. I receive the love. I receive the support. Ah, take a deep breath right here, right now. Ah. So the solar eclipse is about balance. Uh, we know what we don't want. Listen emotionally. Listen emotionally. What do you want? What do you need? Take time to rest, reset, and integrate. Rest, reset, integrate. Rest, do nothing. How many of us even know how to do nothing? I mean, it's it's not easy in this there's always something pulling our attention. Uh, even if we're just watching that show, how can we just do nothing? Even better bonus points if you do it in nature. Reset. When I rest, I get the information. I have, I am fresh. I am filled. I'm in a full cup moment. And then integrating that information, I think that's the key, key, key. So you may get downloads, you may get information. Maybe you do a mushroom ceremony, maybe you do ayahuasca, maybe you're out in nature and you get information. I've seen it time and time again. People go to a weekend course and they're fired up on Monday. Hallelujah. Like my life has changed. And then life, life and things take over and we get Someone upsets us and we have a deadline and all that we learned, all that high that we were on that we felt just goes out the, the, the door, just goes out the window. Integration is so important. A, what is the lesson I am taking with me that I am going to now practice in my life? You are at the gymnasium of emotional intelligence. What am I practicing moving forward? So you, more times than not, you need a container. You get to have a, whether that's a sister circle, whether it's here in tribe, uh, maybe a woman on fire mastermind, one that's more rigorous in holding you up to account, but a, a, way, a place that is safe to practice, a place that is safe to practice. Learn the lesson, own the lesson, practice the, this new up-leveling. Integrate this into your current experience. All right. Is everybody hearing me okay? Can we hear me? Thumbs up? Yes? Okay, good. Uh, four. All right. We only have five of these. So we're at four. Rebalancing your spiritual and human experience. You can't sit in ceremony all day and you can't just order from Uber Eats all day. <laughs> you actually are a walking ceremony. So own that as you, in fact, being in the practice and practicing this is being the walking ceremony. You are meant to enjoy this experience um, in life. Like, where are you suffering? Where are you just making it through? This is your reminder that this human experience is meant to be enjoyed. See the beauty and abundance of you. Um, and don't ask for freaking permission. You are the permission. Hmm. I'm no oh, here we go. Um, Okay, number five, number five, what part of you needs to be shed to receive your higher self? So those of us who are sitting in tribe right now, the first thing that comes to your mind, what is in the way, what gets to be shed, what gets to be let go, write it down, write it down, write it down. In this Taurus full moon, what am I not embodying in my life? No one can take away you. We give it away, but no more, no mas, no thank you. 
This is a celebration. And I, as I mentioned, the full moon is an opportunity to review where we have been, what we created in this cycle. And this one in particular is talking about the last two years. To celebrate. What are we celebrating in this cycle, in this two years? Boy, I reflect back and I, and I thought I was kind of doing great in this cycle, but it's just been in this last month where I feel back to normal. Now, mind you, I've been going through menopause. We had a pandemic. We have all sorts of different uh, life, lifing health things that have happened in my world. And I have, I've been through it and I have a new energy. This like, it's not my old energy, but it feels familiar and it feels go get them. And I feel clarity. And I was like, oh, wow. I was really in a fog the past two years. I was really surviving, not thriving. And and it takes this like opening this portal to acknowledge that. And I celebrate, man, I did it. Boy, I look like I had it together. And I acknowledge myself for constantly showing up again and again and again, willing to renew, willing to come at it again, willing to expand, to see my blocks, to honor my truth, to find peace in my body, in my heart, in my soul. So this is a celebration. The golden door is opening. You finally decide to step in. You finally decide to step in with both feet. You are supported more than you know. This is the sign. There's not a signier sign than this sign. If you are looking for a sign, this is it. You are more supported than you thought you even thought you could be. Your manifestation is here. Allow it. No more asking for permission. You create everything. The divine feminine is the creatrix of the planet. Stop asking for permission. Notice when you go, oh, uh, I need to get approval from someone outside of myself. No, you were the only approval necessary. Feel the feeling confident in you, in this meat suit right here, right now. What relationships and opportunities are you bringing in? So this is your exercise, exercise. So those who are following along, those who are here with me in real time, get out your uh, journals and begin scripting this next chapter. I love it that on October 28, 2023, I had clarity of my next chapter. I am stepping into being a speaker and inspiring large audiences ready to receive my wisdom, my information, supporting the planet in change, in transformation, in building those muscles. And as I look back, I'm so grateful for her two years out in 2025, October 28th, 2025. I love how I trusted myself in that moment. I love how now I'm speaking in stadiums that it is raucous and joyous. I have a rock band behind me. We dance and sing and laugh. I have all my friends, our contributors. We all speak on this stage. We travel together in a band. We're like on tour rock stars for change, for transformation. I'm so grateful that I trusted this vessel that that could come through me. This is called scripting. This is from my future self, writing what has happened in these two years moving forward. So in 2025, 20, October 28, 2025, speaking about this moment where I chose myself, where I chose my vision, this new chapter and how that chapter is unfolded. So now is the time to script it in this portal. 
I am ready for my abundant new beginnings. This is the divine feminine. Find a way to transmute your rage. Last time we were together in tribe, we swamped. We beat things, pillows, and ripped trash bags and released our anger. Anger is suppressed radiance. We get to let our light shine. So I invite you, if you are having rage, which all of us are, by the way, all of us are angry. There's something in all of our lives to be angry about, whether it's in our immediate, our I, the we, or the all there is. And the um, it's okay to be angry, but you have the tools. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it to release it? Get it out of our body. It creates dis-ease in our bodies. Must release. So the next prompt for us as we are wrapping up the five things you need to know about this Taurus full moon lunar eclipse is the prompt is what did it take to move through the evolutions you encountered in the last two years? What did it take from you to move through the evolutions you encountered these last two years? So write that down right now. Write it down. Write it down. What did it take from you? Write it. You push through these past year, two years. I am proud of you. This particular axis, while you're writing, I'm going to share with you this particular axis, Eclipse, Taurus, Scorpio axis, will not happen again for another eight years. It is delivering blessings to make everyone's life more stable, comfortable, sensual. Be ready to receive I receive, remember this, I'm going to just ring in your ears, I receive, you'll be looking better, making more money, getting more support, feeling more loved over the next two weeks in particular. And then as you continue to write this prompt, honor your journey as you choose this chapter honor your journey as you choose this chapter Woo! i honor your journey and i'm excited to see what this next two years is about so for those who are joining on video uh or on the the after the recording please share in the comments, what you discovered, what you saw. Um, for those who are with me, we're going to open it up and begin sharing. For those who are following the recording, like, subscribe, all the things. Until next time.